we are here in Temecula Valley. Now we've come to one of our favorite spots at Temecula Valley. We're at Dofo Winery. But we discovered Dofo several years ago on a trip to Temecula and wanted to come back again here today. They're in the back here. There's a lot of roads when you come in. It's basically a big kind of loop of wineries and there's about 50 different wineries in the Temecula Valley. When you arrive in Temecula Valley, you're gonna see Rancho California Road, and that's kind of like the main drag where some of the oldest, biggest wineries are. We like to usually go past some of those big guys in the front and get back here to more boutique operations like Dofo. This is a big red house. When you come here, you're gonna have a Malbec, you're gonna have a Cabernet, you're gonna have a Zinfandel, and you may even have a blend of a couple of those different types of varietals, like the Mistura that has a blend of Cabernet and Syrah in it. And so if you like big red wines, this is definitely a place you wanna target when you get to Temecula. And when you come to this place, in addition to the Big Reds, another lure that they have is they have their Motodofo program where they are obsessed with vintage motorcycles. Their barrel room, which is a little bit over to my right hand side, has a three to four levels of motorcycles surrounding the entire building when you go inside. So if you like vintage motorcycles and you like big red wines, then Dofo is definitely a place that you want to target. So they had a little bit of lighter flight, they had the kind of like their signature flight with a lot of their single varietal red and a blend, and then they had their reserve flight and even a dessert flight as well. We love the big reds here, and so we had a flight that included a Mistura, which was a Cabernet Syrah blend, a Zinfandel. We also had a Malbec and started off with a Viognier that was really nice as well. Three big reds and a white that does really well in this area. family run operation which we love it's multiple generations of an Argentinian family that are involved in all facets of the winery here it's two going on three generations one in training because he's a teenager you have two winemakers one a father that has passed the winemaking on to his son and possibly the the next generation is to come cheers They have about 13 acres total planted between this estate plot, uh, another vineyard that they have just about a mile from where we're here. They've grown, they're not just so boutique anymore, but they grow all of their own estate fruit and they don't source, which means they don't buy any fruit or juice from anybody else in the area or in any other location, like a lot of wineries do now these days. So everything you see here on the estate is grown here and bottled and aged here as well. And so we're in the vineyard right now. Another cool thing that Dofo does is they're actually playing music to the vines. We've traveled around and we've heard this and seen this. And it's not super common, but a lot of people will actually play music to whatever plants or whatever crops that they grow. And so Dofo's doing that here and they actually have music that's playing constantly in the vineyard for these vines. We're right amongst some Cabernet vines, some Syrah, and also some Zinfandel that we saw a couple rows over. These big red grapes were like less than two weeks away from the beginning of harvest, and they're soaking in the nutrients from the soil and the sun, and also some good vibes out here in the vineyard. Whoa. 